Koran was manipulated or not. The Quran says that Muslims changed it. Surah Al-Baqarah verse 106 says, Whatever a verse do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we bring a better one or similar to it. You do not know that Allah is able to do all things. Surah An-Nal verse 101 says, when we change a verse of the Quran in place of another, and Allah knows best what he sends down, disbelievers say, O oh Muhammad, you are but a forger. Nay, but most of them know not. From these and other similar verses in the Quran, we understand that as Muhammad's political power was increasing, he replaced some of the Quran's previous verses that he did not like with ones he liked. To justify his actions, he told people that God cancelled those verses since they were no longer valid for God, and he inspired better verses. Interesting. Is it really possible for God to say he has a better verse than before since every verse he says is perfect because he is the perfect God? Wasn't God aware in eternity that some of his verses would need to be changed in the future so that he could correct them and not allow an imperfect Quran to fall into the hands of Muhammad? By removing his original words, people doubted and criticized Muhammad and later were killed for their criticisms. Why not provide the perfect or final word from the beginning in order to avoid criticism and slaughters? Would the true God confuse people like this and make them hostile to one another? So you can see that the Quran confirms that some of its verses were made invalid by changing them with better ones. The Quran would never state its verses invalid if it was from the true God. Hadith also say that the Quran is retouched and incomplete. In the time of Muhammad and after his death, there were eight copies of the Quran different from one another in some parts. Muhammad was not sure which was the right one, but guessed that the one in the hands of his son-in-law Ali could be the one. After Muhammad's death, the division among his successors not only blocked the way for them to authorize Muhammad's desired version, but pushed the ruling leader Uthman to authorize the present Quran, which is missing many verses. Salim ibn Ghais, in his book, The Mystery of Muhammad's Family, says that many verses are missing from the present Quran. Many verses were eaten by a sheep or a goat, as well as some verses from Surahs An-Nur, Al-Ahzab, and Al-Hujarat were lost. If the Quran itself and the ancient Islamic books are saying with one voice that the Quran was retouched, manipulated, and that many of its verses are missing, how could the Quran be called the perfect book and from God? The Bible does not claim to be changed. Surah Al-Hijr in verse 91 says that the Quran was retouched and manipulated. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that it was changed or forged. Muslim leaders and clergy never teach that the Quran was changed or that many of its verses were lost. 
but easily lie about the books of Christians and Jews saying that they were changed. The Quran's own verses are saying that it was forged. How can then this forged book be from God? The Quran says in Surah Al-An'am verses 34 and 115 and Surah Yunus verse 64 no one can change the words of God and in Surah Al-Hijr verse 9 says because God will protect it now we understand that the Quran was changed therefore if it was the word of God nobody could change it the Bible and the gospel of Christ are immune from the problems the Quran has. The God of the Bible does not make his followers captive to sin, Satan and evil ones, but saves them.